Use this money play to go ahead and attack your opponent in the red zone for easy touchdowns. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. It's you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. All right, so guys, I've got a lot of uh, Patrons and also subscribers that request Red Zone plays. So uh, one of the formations I really like a lot is the Gun Formation Wing Stack. And, and the reason why is that it allows you to go ahead and attack your opponent with, uh, with a quick inside uh, passing route and I started labbing uh, this particular play out of the gun wing, wing stack which is the double corners and this really allows you to attack the flats and also the corner routes the deep corners of the of the red zone areas of the field that people are not used to defending so uh, guys I broke down uh, basically uh, multiple different sets ups and, and multiple different ways to attack your opponent with this particular play uh, attacking the left side in particular the right side is going to be where we're really going to be attacking our opponent at and I have about four different setups I'm going to show you now uh, if you go to my one of my favorite uh, websites which is the maddenfocus.com website uh, it doesn't a lot of these formations are hidden in here but I'll show you uh, the wing stack you can find this in the Ravens uh, you can also find this in uh, the Bears defense or offense uh, you can also find it in the jet uh, not, not the Jaguars because that's a that's a single back for, for a variation of it uh, let's see here another one another one uh, is going to be uh, the Chiefs the Chargers run balanced and the Cardinals that's where I've actually found this play so there's variations of this in single back and the and the stack Y off uh, I haven't labbed the other setups because uh, the running back route really is going to be uh, is going to be critical to this so in the Chargers uh, you got to have that running back route is going to be on the right hand side of the formation and I prefer this in a gun formation so let's let's go and jump into this breakdown and show you how this this opens up your red, red zone opportunities so once again uh, it's going to be the gun wing stacked and uh, the, the bottom uh, F or uh, wide receiver uh, your uh, primary wide receiver your best wide receiver you want to put them on the lower part of the st stack so uh, Larry Fitzgerald is my better of, the, of my wide receivers and I put him uh, in the wide receiver flip uh, position and once again the play is going to be the double corners now uh, most players don't necessarily go ahead and use any kind of aggressive man blitzes down in the red zone uh, usually a lot of the good players will actually use zone and force your opponent to actually make some reads so this is really what we're how we're going to set this play up uh, for the most part uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my back side receiver a number one wide receiver and actually put him on a slant route he's going to be our first read and the running back is going to be a wild card I mean they're going to go ahead and put him on a streak route which is kind of an out and up I'm going to go ahead and put him on on out routes or I'm going to go ahead and put him on a wheel route depending on the coverage now if I got my opponent that's using uh, a lot of uh, I don't really know what he's going to be using right right from the very beginning as far as coverage if he's using a lot of, uh, of uh, man coverage I'm just going to go ahead and leave my running back blocking or that delayed block opportunity and really what you're going to do is you're going to look for this this inside slant route this is going to be the area that you can attack your opponent with a lot of man blitzes um, another thing you can do too uh, with this particular play is you could take a Fitzgerald put him on a, a flat route and then actually go ahead and take Kirk and put him on the corner route so when you get those one-on-one -on -one type situations uh, you'll be able to go and hit the corner but the problem with the corner route is that it does take a little bit longer to develop so uh, it might be a little bit difficult for you to do that but that, that that's actually another area of the field that you can hit against your opponent uh, conversely uh, you've got a corner off the right hand side that you can hit against your opponent uh, with uh, the other tight end and let's see if we can get that so we can get that now what's cool about this particular play is this corner route is going to get open uh, on a lot of different zone coverages but the way I like to set this up is I want to go have that inside uh, inside uh, slant route uh, on the back end side and I'm going to go ahead and put my guy in a route uh, and I, I, when I pass lead this I can do a high pass lead but I always go ahead and pass back to the left so I'm going to go the opposite direction of his route with this with the slant route so this is going to be the, the route that should be open a lot I'm going to do back pass lead and uh, that ball actually sails. Now, I want to uh, bring to your attention. I'm using probably one of the. I'm using a rookie quarterback, so he's going to make some missed throws. But for the most part, uh, you can pretty much dot your opponent up with this play. Now, one of the common defenses used in the red zone is going to be cover two because you're protecting the flats, and you've also have got uh, basically uh, you've got a bunch of yellow zones over the middle. So uh, once again, we're going to still set everything up the same way. Uh, let's just leave the play as is, and uh, you're going to have this little window opportunity you can hit with the backside slant. So that's why I like to use that slant majority of the time against my opponent. 
uh, I can flat up my backside receiver uh, and then uh, basically do smart route and just look high low. If the flat is open, I can go and check it down and actually go and take that if the defender floats up. So let's see if the defender doesn't float down. So we're just going to go and check it down and take an easy completion for a touchdown against uh, man to cover two. Now, if the defender plays a hard flat, you can obviously go and hit your opponent on the backhand side right here. I actually get a nice completion. So that's where you just don't go ahead and make that, that, that adjustment um, with the backhand side. So uh, on the right hand side, it actually gets even funner. Uh, so you can still do a little slant route on the backhand side. Uh, so you can force your opponent to go ahead and stop that against cover two. But uh, on, the, on the right hand side, uh, the cover two is shell is going to get eaten up. So the first thing you could do is you can go ahead and put your running back on a wheel route. And what's going to happen is because there's a flat defender out there, he's going to allow this running back to go and get a free lane into the red zone. He has to pull out with the, with the, with the, uh, with the, uh, the flat route. Now this is where I actually got a little bit excited about this play. I went ahead and labbed on the back end side. I labbed uh, basically taking the running back routes and putting him on a, uh, on a wheel. And this is where the corner gets opened up against cover two. See how the, the cover two route actually just gets completely opened up. Not a lot of people can actually successfully attack the corner in this game. The corner routes uh, in uh, Madden are uh, in the red zone. It's just not something a lot of people actually try to defend. Uh, but you can see right here, he actually gets naked because of this coverage. This running back route preoccupies the coverage against cover two, and it gives you that corner route wide open. So what's cool about this good play is that you can hit your opponent in different areas. He's going to have to defend this route looking to the inside and if, the, if he starts cheating on that you've got a corner out on the back end side that you can attack him with uh, with uh, with the tight end so let's just go see that open up it opens up defenders barely there sometimes you can has, have you can high, high ball pass lead it that's a little bit of a safer pass uh, but for the most part uh, the, the coverage will be in there so let's go and take a look at this at cover three once again we see a single high safety we know the opponent's playing cover three we just go ahead and do the high low High, the low is actually opening. If you could do a nice little rack animation, you should be able to get the ball in cover three once again. Safety plays off. We go ahead and just tack the, the corner on the back end side. But what I prefer, and preferably, is just to go ahead and take that inside receiver off the left off the uh, the left hand side and just do a back pass lead, or just let the guy pass the coverage. So. You want to go ahead and establish that as one of your go-to pass routes uh, because that will pretty much open up uh, everything else um, on this this uh, this offensive set right here. So you can get yourself in trouble right there if you don't set it up correctly. Now what if we uh, go with the, the wheel route off the backhand side? You can see right here this actually gets uh, gives you an opportunity to get into the red zone right there with that little wheel route. So if you've got an opponent that's running a lot of sky against you, you can go ahead and use this. And you can see right here that that little wheel route by the running back actually gets cleared out by that, that flat. So what if we go and streak up Johnson, our running back? That corner could be wide open once again because the defensive back doesn't know who to play on the, in that route. Now what about a guy that runs a lot of cover four? Um, once again, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and look uh, to the inside pass lead. Any kind of matching principles with cover four uh, will basically open up this slant route over the middle, so he's going to have to use her that. Uh, what if we do the little wheel route on the backhand side? You can see he gets open, so the wheel route will be open for you against any kind of matching principles cover four. What if we streak up Johnson? Got that. Corner route should be wide open, a good opportunity for you to go ahead and uh, do a touchdown on the back end side, or on the right hand side. So you're going to have a bunch of different areas of the field that you can attack. You're really not going to be attacking the middle of the field uh, too much. Uh, it's it's going to be really, uh, for the most part, you're going to be attacking the corners against your opponent. Um, obviously, that could actually get usered up, but uh, this is just a, it's a very easy play to go and run in the red zone. It's going to give you an opportunity to go ahead and get a lot of touchdowns, and uh, preferably you want to do it you know in between two yards and seven yards, somewhere in that range. Uh, but what's cool about this particular play, this uh, the scheme, is that you do have an inside run, so you got two tight ends, so your opponent's going to have to be conscious of the run too. So um, once again, guys, if you like these type of tips, if this is stuff that you like, make sure you go and hit the like button. And I'll be rolling out uh, basically a full um, a red zone scheme out of this play. There's a couple more plays I'm going to go and throw into this scheme. And this is going to be posted uh, strictly for my patrons only. So uh, to, my, to my patrons and to my subscribers, thank you for your support. Until next time.